Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Trey Gowdy and it's Sunday night in America. Lake and Riley wanted to be a nurse. And you can tell a lot about someone by how they choose to spend this gift called life. She wanted to spend hers taking care of the sick and the injured and those who needed some kindness perhaps on the doorstep of death. That takes a special kind of person. As a nurse, Lakin would have faced down disease and viruses and infections. She would have risked her health, her life to take care of the sick. She would have no doubt persevered through those threats and dangers. She just could not survive. A simple jog around a lake in Athens, Georgia. She was murdered by an illegal alien with no regard for her life or for your laws. And right on cue, Democrats reject calls for her death to mean anything. Democrat Katie Porter wants to be a U.S. Senator. She just doesn't want the murder of Lake and Riley to change anything. I think the important thing to focus on is any one instance shouldn't shape our overall immigration policy, which has so many different facets, including economic choices about what workers to allow in and how to create prosperity in America. And Liberalism isn't confined to just California. I understand in the wake of a great tragedy like this, we are all deeply hurt, and everybody expresses their hurt differently. Who voted to, to make Athens Clark County a sanctuary city, sir? Who? What's their name? What they're telling you is don't let this murder change a thing. God forbid we learn or make improvements after a murder. And it's not just liberal politicians. A CNN writer warned us not to let Lake and Riley be, quote, exploited in his words. Hey, CNN, she's dead. Exploitation is the least of her concerns right now. What this CNN writer really doesn't want is for you to be motivated. What Katie Porter really doesn't want is for you to do exactly what she and the left have been doing for decades. The death penalty was not enough for the murder of James Byrd Jr. in Texas in 1998. The left wanted hate crime laws enacted. Simply putting his killers to death would not suffice. And life in prison wasn't enough for the murder of Matthew Shepard in Wyoming. The left wanted to use his murder to change the law. And a murder charge wasn't enough for the killing of George Floyd in 2020. The left encouraged months of violence and arson and rioting. Some call for defunding the police. The left has no trouble politicizing some murders to advance their social causes, but God forbid you do so. God forbid the death of a nursing student in Georgia be more than just a murder. God forbid her death lead to real change. Katie Porter says one instance should not shape policy except when it suits her. So how many murdered nursing students would be enough? How many dead Americans at the hands of those here illegally would be enough to take action? So whether you're a black man in Texas or a gay man in Wyoming, whether you're being arrested in Minnesota or jogging in Athens, Georgia, you should be free and safe and alive. So do not lecture us on using a single crime, a single murder to change the system because the left has been doing it for decades. We are headed into the season of change where we get to weigh in, we get to vote, we get to ask the questions. So if one dead nursing student killed by an illegal alien who never should have been released into this country and should have been deported long ago is not enough to fix the border and end sanctuary cities, then you tell us what is. You give us a number. How many caskets would be enough for you to change. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.